Hello guys, welcome to Bread Impressions. I'm Bread, and on the show I'm going to be taking a look at The Curse of Mermos. Now, I want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up about what the game's about, um, what can you expect, you know, and maybe it'll help you decide if you would like to download it. Now, this game is free on Steam, so there's really no reason to at least try it out. And we're gonna go ahead and jump to the game. Um, you can take a look at the options menu. There's really nothing there, but that's that. Um, you also note that this is for educational use only. I'm not sure what that means exactly. This might be some kids game of some sort, but we'll see. So these are the keyboard controls, but there's also controller support, which they actually suggest you use, but yeah, all right. And I guess this is a little brief overview about the combat system. I mean, it's just a pretty simple hack and slash game. All right, we can take a quick look. Strafing, okay, that's that. And souls, you can collect these souls for your enemies, I guess. Alright. Could this be it? Could this be the tomb of the great Pharaoh Ebo? This might be greater than the discovery of Tutankhamun. Or whatever the, whatever the hell. Okay, so here's some uh, ghosty mummy dude. Um, it is I, the great Ebo. I have been betrayed by my commander, Mermos, and cursed to spend eternity within these walls. Help me defeat these monsters that forbid me to escape and you will be immensely rewarded. Okay, so movement. Okay, so that's some potion. And that's how you roll around. And we go in and swing on that. Oh, and we can also shoot arrows, okay. So, um, you don't exactly aim with your mouse. You actually have to use your WASD keys. And then you either right click to swing your hammer, that's what it looks like. Or some mace of some sort. Or you can... Right click and you can shoot some arrows. Okay, so I guess that's the first wave or something. And we can talk to Ebo. Alright. Bring back the souls of the monsters and I will make you stronger. Great things are given to those that sacrifice souls upon this offering shrine. You press R for the next wave. So it's like, you know, one of those wave shooting games. Um, I mean the graphics aren't the greatest, I'm not gonna complain. It is a free game, and it says it's for educational use only. Who knows, this might have been just some like project for a school or something. Or maybe it's just meant for kids, but even in that case, graphics are okay. It, this seems like you could probably give it to some, like, child. Okay, and we can go and heal. But, yeah. I do think that this is definitely a children's game. But, you know, that's fine. I mean, as far as children's games go, this is actually alright. Um, I mean, when I played games when I was a kid... It was just simple stuff like this as well. It's really nothing fancy, you no know, like amazing graphics. Actually, hell, this is better graphics than what I remember from all the games that I played. But then again, that was just like flash games and that sort of thing. All right, so I wonder if there's actually different monsters because if it's just spiders, that's uh, that's kind of I don't know about that. Oh, we're about to die, aren't we? I hope we don't die. 
Oh, yeah, we're dead. Okay. Um, pray to the God of Resurrection, Osiris, to revive you. You have to sacrifice all the souls you have collected. This is what you for an additional. Okay. Wait, so I actually have... It only costs one soul. If that's the case, that's really not bad at all. Alright, so we probably want to avoid these guys a little bit. It does seem like there's a little bit of um, aim assistance, which is nice. Especially if this is supposed to be a kid's game. Because um, I can... I mean, you can't give a kid, like, like, MOBA base, like, precision. That's really too much for a kid. But the gameplay, so far, it's, it's pretty fluid. Um, there might be some lag, just because I'm recording. But besides that, it's actually really good. Runs well. Definitely seems like a kid's game. But that's okay. I wonder if we can actually heal. Okay, this is a lot of spiders. That is not good. Can I heal? I cannot heal. Gosh. I just, just got to avoid these guys then. It kind of blows. Alright. Make use of our little bow gun, crossbow. So yeah, even though the this game's like really simple, the combat is really fluid. Okay. Hopefully we don't die here. All right, come on. Alright, I'm getting wrecked by a kid's game, that's okay. I mean this, this, you do have to avoid these guys. It's not like you can just go in and just, just like, kill them all. Okay, so that's one way done. Can I actually heal? How do I heal? Oh, okay, so here is a store. That you can buy with your souls, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, so you can buy some potions. I probably want to get a couple potions. All right. And you can increase your health. You can increase your war axe. Increase your that. What is this? And your movement speed. That would also be good. I think we actually want to just get some more potions. Maybe we can increase our bow strength a little bit. Oh, that is a ridiculous increase. But that's fine, I guess. Alright. So, I, d I can't actually heal. Maybe if I talk to him? No? So, there's no instant heal after a wave. Which kind of sucks. I guess that's okay though. Um, all right, we'll go ahead and do one more wave. Oh, okay. So here we have some more new enemies. This is a skeleton. He's running away from me for some reason. Not sure. Oh, oh, okay. He shoots stuff. All right. Well, that is not something that I want to get hit by. I guess. Oh, you are really annoying, aren't you? That is annoying. All right, we'll just tank him in like that. Ow. Ow. Right, no, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go ahead and heal. Alright. Oh, these guys are really annoying. Stop. Stop hiding behind that wall. Okay, so now... The difficulty ramps up a little bit. 
We've got skeleton dudes as well as spider things. Come on. Okay, there we go. That's that dead. Hopefully another one doesn't spawn, because those guys are really annoying. Alright. That's dead. That's that dead. Okay. We're getting wrecked right here. I got no more healing potions, so... Probably want to stay a little bit away. Is that it? Alright. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that's just about the entire game. Um, looking at the forums, takes about like 90 minutes to beat. Uh, maybe a little more. Or less. Depending on how good you are at these types of games. But overall, this seems like a pretty decent, simple game. I mean, it's a simple game for kids, pretty much. And it's pretty good at that. Especially since they give you all these, um, like, really noticeable keyboard button presses. Just like that E and the R. It's... Just, it's pretty easy to navigate, and for that, I think it makes up for the super, like, lackluster graphics. And I guess, you know, that's really about it. This is the Curse of Mermos. Mermos? I hope I'm saying that right. But anyways, it's free on Steam. You know, if you got a kid, or maybe you yourself want to just try it out, burn some time. I can definitely see this being, like, something you could burn time with. Other than that, um, I could definitely see this being a pretty decent, like, um, mobile game. Unless it already is. I'm not sure. I'll definitely have to check that out, and, and thank you for watching this video. See you guys next time. Stay tuned for another Bread Impression.